Welcome to a cold Sunday here at the Sea Otter Classic. It is the last day of the show. Come along as we do Sea Otter by the minute. And you can't see <laughs> shit out here right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm Matt here with Rebel Bikes out of Carbondale, Colorado. And um, we're introducing the first 3D printed downhill bike uh, made in the United States. So. Really special project for us, um, full engineering here and carbon printing. Um, definitely a fun one because of the, the new technologies that we're exploring. Um, have a few things to, to jump through to get it to a, a rideable um, you know, mountain bike, but you know, we started with the downhill bike because of what it is and you know, the abilities it has. So we, we brought a whole fleet uh, this year, but we're really excited for the new Ranger here. We updated the rear triangle to be Eagle transmission compatible, um, a little bit redesigned links to increase ride quality and stiffness, but it's our same great tried and true, you know, 120, 115 travel down, uh, you know, in you know, cross country bike. Um, and then a year in, we brought the Rail 29, uh, same thing, Eagle transmission compatible. It's a 155, 160, you know, big trail bike or light enduro bike. Um, really, really capable. And again, all these models featuring uh, Canfield Balance Formula suspension. So really proud to show that off. Hello, I'm Tony with Magura USA. And I'm gonna talk to you today about the Viron V3. It's our version three of the Viron dropper post. Um, so it's all new. Uh, lots of things have been redesigned, the, the ergonomics of our remote, um, the post is much faster uh, than our previous uh, generation post, um, has an MSRP of $650, uh, it comes in three sizes, a 100, 120, 150 and 170 and uh, we're excited about it. It's uh, it's scheduled to be on U.S. soil probably in September. We'll be taking pre-orders before that. We hope. Um, it now comes with a it comes with a, a a battery that now gives you about a year of of usage before you have to replace it or recharge it. Uh, but I think that the biggest improvement I think is the speed and the new ergonomics of the of the remote. Uh, my name is Ryan Palmer. I'm marketing manager at Yeti Cycles. And uh, here at the event, we launched the brand new uh, SB135, which unbelievably has two 27.5 wheels. I know a lot of people aren't doing that anymore, but uh, there's a real good market for it. And uh, I think that a lot of people have forgotten just how fun and snappy and like effortless it can be to pop and play around on those tiny wheels. So awesome. it's been a really good launch so far. Yeah, for sure. And uh, there's something with slightly bigger wheels and a little bit more travel over there. What yeah. About that? Yeah. So, uh, you know, one of the fastest riders uh, in the world, everybody knows him as uh, Richie Rude. Um, well, he gave up racing DH about 10 years ago. And he, uh, last summer he came to us and he said, you know, I think I might want to race downhill again. Uh, what do you guys think about that? And we're like, all right, let's make you a bike. So. That's what happened. It was a really, really quick development uh, cycle. Only six weeks from development to when we started actually machining parts for this thing. Um, and uh, yeah, this winter we saw our first bike and uh, he just had a first place performance down uh, down under. So he's already he's already winning races. Right on. Any plans to make this available to the public? Uh, well, right now we're just working on prototypes. So it's in the development phase. All right, perfect man, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, I'm Remy Metaillé, here at Sea Otter Monterrey, California. And I'm here with Propane for the launch of the all-new Tai. And that is my personal bike. So, all-new Tai, I know it looks fairly similar to the old one, but Propane has changed quite a few things. My name's Nina, and I'm here at the Asculep booth at Sea Otter. So we got products for all contact points on the bike. So, starting from pedals to saddle, grips, handlebars, we can get your whole cockpit dialed so you can ride pain-free, and you can find our products at sklab-usa.com. Perfect, thank you very much. How's it going, guys? Dustin from We Are One. Welcome to Sea Otter 2023. I'm Adam from We Are One, and uh, this year we're showing off some cool custom paint colors, all done in-house on our frames, made in Canada. Yeah, we came here, uh, we let our painter uh, go nuts. We've got a beautiful 152 in a full raw format. Uh, it's been catching a lot of eyes. Uh, getting a lot of attention. Uh, you can see our beautiful layup uh, and everything that we do there really showcase what we do in the factory. 
We brought our full suite of uh, convergence rims and we're uh, showing off the new uh, articulated spoke bed and whatnot there. Uh, we gave a good nod to Ivan Stewart and did a Toyota themed uh, 170 arrival. It's pretty sick. Uh, we feel that that was the best paint job of the show, but we'll let the, 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 the crowd decide. Uh, and a beautiful uh, purple themed uh, 130 bike. Uh, so that's our, our newest uh, addition to the arrival platform. Uh, we brought some of our revolution rims and uh, showcasing uh, everything that we make uh, in Canada. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Woo! I'm Gus Juffer with Microshift. Uh, here to talk about Advent X version 2. Shifter is the same, cassette's the same, the derailleur has a new cage. It's very exciting. Has a, uh, it's about 20 millimeters shorter. Uh, and the, basically the pivot, uh, uh, the, the pulley position has moved a little bit. So the tension pulley here is moved back. The guide pulley is moved forward. That creates more of an S curve here, which just engages more teeth on the cassette and engages more teeth on the pulleys as well. We got feedback from our, our best kind of like top 5% of riders on like uh, e-bikes, you know, high torque e-bikes and EWS stuff that um, they wanted a little bit better chain security, a little bit better cassette life, and this does both of those things. All right, who doesn't know about Avon X? Uh, it's 10 speed, uh, 1148 tooth uh, range. The whole idea behind it, SRAM and Shimano do 12 speed. It's great, has a lot of advantages, but it has some disadvantages too. It's a little bit finicky. If to set it up, you everything has to be perfect. The cable tension has to be perfect. Derailleur hanger has to be perfect. With Advan X, things don't have to be perfect. It's just a little easier. Uh, there's more. It's more tolerant. Uh, the wider chain just helps everything uh, uh, kind of just just work a little bit easier. Uh, shifter derailleur and cassette retails for I want to say 170 bucks. Um, at, at the high end, and then we actually have a couple different cassettes, so if you do the cheaper cassette, you can get it down to about 150, 145, somewhere in there. Incredible. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, Calvin from Orange Bikes, and I've got uh, our first of two prototypes for Sea Otter. Um, this one is a 160 mil travel front and rear MX wheel single pivot bike. Um, no name for this one yet. We should hopefully have something for late, later in the year. but. New generation trail bike from us. It's the first single pivot bike we've done with a Trunnion shock on it. So it uses a, a 205-65 rear shock. It also now has the stash compartment. That's what we call on the, uh, the orange safe. So it's the store accessories, food and equipment. And then we've also added in details like you can now take a full water bottle in the front triangle. Uh, UDH gear hanger. We've gone for the new head tube as well. So it's like a 4956 zero stack head tube. And we've also rejigged the sizing a little bit. So what you get now is like a, a large becomes a 17. So if you guys wanted to run like a 240 mil post, then that's now an option. Awesome. And the second one? Yeah, second one. So feedback based from the race guys that we've had, you know, the Orange Factory Racing, they've been running the Switch 7 for like the last year. A couple of queries about maybe having the option to run a 29 inch wheel on the back of the Switch 7. So we've done a lot of development work. Again, prototype at the minute. Hopefully we'll see it go into production towards the end of the year. But what you now have is 170 mil travel front, 165 mil travel rear, 29 inch wheels at both ends, slightly shorter stroke shock than the Switch 7, so it uses a, a 205 by 60, but it still uses that strange power link to generate a bit more progression out of the bike, and it's a yeah thoroughbred race bike. Awesome, man! Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah, Dan from Kushcore, we got a new model here called, that we're calling Kushcore Trail. So we Atlant launched uh, in 2017 our original model we call pro that's like the full performance version and then a couple years later we launched an xc basically lightweight version um, and then this one is right in between it has a couple new features of course the performance and weight balance that i just explained but uh the fluted sidewall creates a more progressive cornering feel so it's a little bit softer on the edge but as you lean into it you get more and more sidewall support and um yeah so the the standard Pro weighs 250 grams, and this weighs 199 grams, so it's 50, 50 grams lighter. And yeah, that's the new Kushcore Trail. Uh, I'm Jim Gunning with Best Day Brewing, and uh, here we are at Sea Otter. We have uh, our brewery. It, it uh, was founded about a year and a half ago out of Sausalito, California, and it was sort of born out of the necessity of, of uh, the founder who was 
was getting a little older and was very active, loved to bike and hike and surf and got married and had a very professional career and was a big beer lover but decided that he couldn't quite keep up his lifestyle with the way it was and wanted to find a, a solution. So he spent actually several years developing Best Day Brewing and uh, finally reached it, was bringing it to parties and refined the recipe to finally got a point where his friends were like, you should build a brand. And so he did and told his wife he was quitting his job and started the company. That's awesome. And uh, what do you guys offer? So we offer three varieties right now. We have a hazy uh, IPA, which is, uh, has a nice, smooth, citrusy aftertaste. We have a traditional West Coast IPA uh, with a little bit more hoppiness to it. And then uh, a Kolsch style, which is you know more of a German lager, very smooth, really light, very refreshing. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, I'm Chris from Bulls Bikes USA, and uh, we're at Sea Otter Classic 2023 right now. We've got our Copperhead Evo AM4 750. It's a mouthful, but a lot of specs built into that. Uh, it starts with a 750 watt hour battery with the new Bosch Smart System involved. Uh, this is our top shelf XTR uh, Suntour Duralux setup. Um, this is our big trail bike. You're not going to do any big hit kind of things, but uh, it's a fun up and down bike that you can uh, get lots and lots of miles out of because of the big battery system. You're able to tune the uh, assist levels thanks to the smart system. It's a mullet bike, 29er up front, 27.5 in the back, so it gets some good rollover up front but keeps things tight in the back. A little bit slacker head tube angle than last year, so um, we're looking for some more uh, adventure out of it. I'm Garth from Scott. We're going to look at some of the cool bikes we have on display this year. We have two flavors of Genius. We have the Genius ST. This guy here is going to have 150 in the back, 160 up front, and feature our track lock suspension. If you want a little bit different vibe, we go with the Genius 900. Again, 150 in the back, 160 up front, featuring the twin lock suspension. All of this having the integrated great graded suspension design, which is very cool. If you want a bike that's going to help you get up the hills with a little bit extra boost, you can look at our 130 mil e-bike this is the lumen this is uh, gonna be definitely the cleanest bike if you want to fool your friends and thinking you found some extra power this is the bike bike for you um, this guy is going to be super quiet super easy and definitely a little bit of a cheater bike under 35 pounds for this e-bike right here what kind of drive unit with the TQ drive unit price range for this and those sweet geniuses the Geniuses, they start around 3800 bucks and go up to as much as you'd like to spend on the bicycle. This particular one here comes down to several models below that as well too. My name is Ryan, I work for Raceface and you're looking at the new turbine wheel set. So we came out with this one very recently actually, it's coming just to replace the turbine R wheel set. Super long standing, great product, we wanted to make it even better. So we did a couple things. First, we did a front and rear specific rim profile. So the front rim is actually gonna be a little bit less deep than the back. And the reason for that is because you want compliance out of your front wheel. That's where you feel the most feedback from the ground. You feel it in the handlebars, you know, your fork damage, some of it, but the wheels help a lot. So the front wheel is gonna be more compliant. The rear wheel is a little bit thicker and we wanted to do that because it needs more durability. You bounce around in rock gardens, you skip around a lot. A lot of people don't feel as much from the back, but we wanted the durability there just in case, right? So it's a really durable wheel, really great. We had a lot of the Rocky team riding it towards the end of last year. They loved it. And honestly, we love it in the office too. We haven't taken it off our bikes yet. Um, it's got another like really cool feature about it. It's called like the Anvil Edge. We have a great copywriter and he named it really well. Um, called the Anvil Edge Rim Lip. It's designed to protect against kind of like pinch flat protection um, because when your tire contacts the rim, it's a broader surface and it takes the impact a lot better than a thin rim lip. Um, it's all laced around the Vault Hub, which is just like a tried and tested piece of gear. We love that thing. Huge oversized bearings, really great engagement, and it's super easy to disassemble. I'll grab one right now and show you. It's dead easy. All you do is just grab the end cap, pull it off, grab the hub, pull it off. It's super easy to maintain. It's got two teeth on each paw ton of teeth here for really really good engagement it's a great hub all right love this thing i'm ryan thanks guys uh, my name is brent uh, i'm the owner of uh, foes mountain bikes we've been building mountain bikes for a little over 30 years now been coming to sea otter for probably 25 years um, and we always come up with something new and want to show everybody our new product and um, i can start here with our ridgeback 29 inch wheel uh, trail bike um, works really well got nice suspension on it all tunable um, pedals really well um, we've got here our, our mixer 
which we've been producing for probably six years, but we've been making updates every year. It's a mixed wheel, 27529. Um, and then we can go over to this. And then we also offer still a fat tire bike, which we sell a lot of back east in the snow and stuff. So that one works really well. We just came out uh, this year with our new two new e-bikes using the Bosch motor. It's a mixed wheel, uh, 150, 160 travel. And then also the fat tire, 150, 160 travel. And um, we offer um, frame sets too. You can choose any color you want, any kind of build you want. We can custom build them for you. And then we also brought out one of our very first bikes we built back in 92. Uh, this is serial numbered 001. This bike here had six inches of travel back then. And um, believe it or not, we actually raced those back then. And, uh, but they've come a long way. So a lot of people had a lot of interest in looking at those things. So Fantastic. thank you very much. Sure, thank you. This is Jumpin' Jerry Vanderpool. I'm with Tecto Racing Products, TRP. And this is our new Evo 12, 12 speed group set. We start off with our carbon crank set. We've got a new bottom bracket, both BSA, press fit, all the usual suspects. Our new 12 speed chain. The heart of the system is our new 12 speed cassette that we're manufacturing that is a combination of one piece of steel making the bottom 10 gears a two piece cassette uh, for our upper two that we bolt together. Uh, basically it gives us a 372 gram cassette in the 12 speed. It is a micro spline and it is a 1052. And then we have our redesigned 12 speed Evo derailleur and shifter with much lighter shifting action than we used to have. As well, it's got a little quick flip switch and that will adjust either a single up, up shift on this unit or by flicking the switch you go to a multiple upshift on our new cassette. That's all available right now, and uh, give us a check out. Super cool, man, thank you very much. Thank you, cheers. So my name is Andre. Uh, we're here at the Polygon um, Bikes, and we have the Colossus N8e. This bike just came out this week on, on Wednesday. You know, perfect timing for Sea Other. Um, and this bike comes with a Shimano EP8, 600 mil battery, full XC drivetrain, and then the Fox 38 Performance and XP2. And it's at a beautiful price of 4999. It's gonna be available late May. Uh, behind it, this bike has been out for a couple of months, is the Colossus N9. It's been ridden by the Polygon factory racing team for about a year, 18 months now. Um, and they've, they've done pretty well on it. <laughs> um, and then I have a really cool thing here. It hasn't been released yet, but it's the Siskiyou T7e. So it's based on the very popular Siskiyou T8 and T7 that we've been that we've been running for a couple of years now, and it's a trail bike, an e-trail bike. So we have 150 mil at the front and 140 mil at the back. It comes with a Shimano EP8 and the 630 mil battery as well, and a full SLX drivetrain. Um, and this bike. The price is not final yet, but we're aiming for the 4K mark. So I'm hoping we can do the 3999. <laughs> but but yeah, but this bike, we're really, really excited about this bike. And we're also going to have a, um, a lower version of this bike, which is aiming for, for those riders that just want to get an e-bike that rides really well. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout. It's going to be on Bikes Online and on the Polygon website um, in a couple of weeks, in a couple of weeks. And it's going to land both of these bikes are going to land in the US um, late May, start of June. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> God, that is a lot of dust. Did you get it? Come on over. You want to say goodbye? What's up? Can you say thanks? I'd thanks. like to say hello. Thanks say for coming to Sea Otter. OK. Thank yeah. you. Thank thanks, you for buddy. coming to Sea Otter. Do you want to say goodbye to our viewers? We're not going to hear that. <laughs> Here. Oh, I got to get closer. Say it again. Thanks to everybody for coming to Sea Otter 2023. Who are you and what do you do? I'm Joe, work with Bole, Spy, generally badass eyewear. You guys should be wearing them, rocking them. You're not every even day wearing life. them. They're on... It's because you wanted to make eye contact. Well, you know, I wanted to see you. And you can't see <laughs> shit out here right now. <laughs> there you go, folks. Everybody's tired. They're ready to go home. Sea Otter's done. Hope you had fun. We'll see you next year. <laughs> I didn't realize you were still alive. <laughs>